Okay, so along with uh, the selection sets or search sets, I have all these different types here. So I have the structural model, the, the level four doors, the duct system, the pipe, and so forth. Okay. Now, what I can do with this information is more important as an appearance. Okay. Let's say if I have a standard look, every single file. Let's say if my firm, I want every single I open an, every single time I open up a Navisworks file, I want it to have the same coloring. Okay. I can do that if I set it up correctly. Now, there's a button here that says Appearance Profiler. Again, it's very basic. Let me show it up on my different screen. Um, now I can do by set. Now, what I can do is, what it's doing is it's looking for that set or selection set or search set, okay, and it's breaking it out. So I have a structural model, and I can choose a color. Okay, I want the structural color to, to look, let's pick a dark gray, okay. And once I've chosen that color for that set, okay, I set add, okay. Let's say the doors. I'm going to skip over doors. Let's do the duct system. Let's do the duct HVAC. Let's do, like, let's get blue. Example, okay. I'm going to go ahead and add. Now let's say pipe system. Actually, that should have been blue, but let's do something like that. Okay. And I can also do uh, the architectural file. Let's say I want it as gray. Okay. That's good. But as an arc, uh, for the architectural model, I'm going to choose to actually have, let's say, a 60% transparency. Okay. And I'm going to hit add. Now, once I've done that, those are my standard colors. Okay, I can save this, so I can always come back to it, rewrite the file with those colors. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click Run. What it's going to do is it's going to look for those colors and go through this model and basically look for all those different systems. Once it's done that, it will then color in each of those sets, those given colors that I've done. Okay. Again, it's actually loading here. <clears throat> okay, so while it's actually loading, um, <clears throat> you don't always have to do this by set. You can also do this by property. If I'm looking for a certain element or and I want to color it, I can do that also. Okay. Um, once it is saved, that selection set, actually it will show you that I changed the colors. Um, once you can save this, if you have another file, you will may have to, or you uh, will have to, because all selection sets may be different per a project. Okay, so you may have to redo certain things, either delete them, delete all, or update individual sets. Okay. Now again, my model is now colored to exactly what I want to see. Okay, that was done through just by my selection set. Okay. Again, the appearance profile. Yeah, sometimes it's a little over, you know, it's very basic, but this is the key about the appearance profiler. When you are in meetings or you're doing your coordination meetings with all your trades or your architect or your engineer, every single meeting, if you're utilizing the same colors, it becomes consistent. People know what to look for. Okay, my stuff is all blue. Okay, well, I'm the fire protection guy. I know everything is all red. So I'm looking for, so when I'm looking at this model, it is identified very effectively and it minimizes confusion during those meetings.